Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with a quick intraday video for the first time ever. The market is still open. It's just about 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I wanted to get this video out there because I made some pretty big plays today on Corsair Gaming. It's a ticker that I have never played before, but I've been keeping my eye on it. And I think we have a very good setup for Corsair today. So let's talk about it real quick. Here's the heat map of how this day is looking so far. A lot of green on the board, but we had a little bit of a rough morning, a lot of selling off in the morning, but it looks like we are kind of back on the upswing of things. Big tech is kind of flat on the day. AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, they're all green. Actually, AMD is just a little red right now, but let's talk about Corsair Gaming. So here is the Robinhood chart on Corsair right now. So here's Corsair right now, you can see, Pre-market, we were looking really good, up 3%, and then right at the opening bell, within the first 25 minutes or so, we sold off to being down almost 2%, kind of are choppy so far, a little bit up, came back down again, we're down about 2.5% right now. So red day on Corsair, but I do think that in the short to midterm, Corsair is gonna bounce back, and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you the news articles that I looked at today, and also my updated technical analysis on Corsair to see why I'm bullish on it right now. And a red day, you know, is a great day to sell some puts, which is why I want to get on Corsair early this morning. So I'll tell you what I did as well. Let's take a look at the option chain right now. Look how juicy these premiums are. I mean, if you want to sell a put, for the February 19th expiration, because Corsair right now only has monthly options. I wish they had weeklies, but February 19th is the closest expiration we can get. The at the money put right now is going for $360. If I want to sell that, I would collect $360, and I would have to put up $3,500 in capital. So my return on risk, take a look at this, this is craziness, 10.3%, and keep in mind, we are already pretty much halfway through the trading day, and this is a short trading week. So in about three and a half trading days, you can right now, by selling an at the money put option, get 10.3% return on your risk. That's crazy. That's why I needed to get in on Corsair because it's very, very juicy right now for its premiums. Let me show you what I sold today. So I sold some puts. Actually, I sold a total of five puts on Corsair that expire in a month, in February 19th. And I sold one of the 35 strike put at the money. And I basically laddered these puts. So I sold one at $35, one at $30, one at $25. And then I actually sold two more at $25 just because I thought they were a good value. So total, I have five contracts open on Corsair. So I am looking pretty good and I am pretty aggressive right now with my 35 and 30 strike sell puts because they are pretty much at the money. But let me tell you why. So this morning before pre-market, Logitech earnings happened and check out their earnings. Their quarter three sales grew 85% and their operating income tripled. So chances are that Corsair will hopefully have similar numbers when their earnings come out for the end of last year and hopefully the beginning of this year. So I'm expecting that since Logitech did well, that Corsair also did well. And then not only that, but check out this article. This is from a week ago actually, but this article from Zacks is called Corsair Gaming Outpaces Stock Market Gains, What You Should Know. So if I scroll down, last month, Okay, Corsair gained 19.4% in that month. In that same month, the sector that they're in, the consumer discretionary sector, it only gained 2.8%. So they've already outpaced their sector. And in that same month, the S&P 500 only gained 3.9%. So they've also outgained the S&P 500 in the last month. So really nice numbers on Corsair there. And then as far as the Zacks rating, Zacks have given them a rank of two, which is a buy rating. So another tidbit of good news for Corsair. And then the last thing that I liked is that at the time this article was written, Corsair was trading at $42 a share and their PE ratio was 34 and the industry average PE ratio was 30. So right now, as I'm making this video, Corsair is trading around $37 or so, so less than where this article was written. So their PE ratio should be even closer to 30 or 30.8 right now. So I thought that right now was a good bargain or a good share price to possibly lock in 
shares that or sell some puts on because I am bullish on Corsair going forward right now. Now, let me show you the trading view stock graph on Corsair. And I've already done some of the technical analysis while I was thinking about my plays this morning. But take a look at this. So Corsair has not been publicly traded for that long. In fact, ever since September 23rd is when we first started trading it. But we are, looks like what in a wedge pattern here. You can see every time we are setting higher lows, higher lows, higher lows ever since we started trading. So that's always a overall bullish sign if you're setting higher lows time after time. And unfortunately, since about November, we are setting lower highs as well. Take a look at this. We peaked November 24th, peaked again December 22nd, and then we peaked recently on January 13th and 14th. So we're in this wedge pattern. So usually when these wedge pattern happens, it kind of just keeps building up and then we either break out to the upside or break out to the downside. So the reason why I think we're going to break out to the upside is take a look at this orange line, which is the 21 day moving average and the pink line, which is the 50 day moving average. I think that we are going to get down to the 50 day MA, which we pretty much are today as I'm making this video. And I think from that point on, I think we are going to have a breakout. Let me delete these arrows. I think what's going to happen is we're going to hit this 50-day moving average and then that's what's going to cause the breakout over the next few trading days maybe early next week so by me selling my puts around here 35 dollars which is below the 50-day moving average 30 dollars which is well below the 50-day moving average and 25 dollars which is even further below the 50-day moving average i'm banking that we do bounce off the 50-day moving average and all of my puts expire worthless or if they just get really, if Corsair just rockets to like 40, 45, and my puts are very profitable, then maybe I'll just close out my positions early, lock in my gains, and have some more money to sell more puts or buy shares. But I am really liking the technical setup on Corsair right now. I'm liking the positive news that Logitech just came out with, so hoping Corsair has the same positive news. And all in all, the juicy premiums on Corsair were too much for me to pass up. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever traded Corsair or not. Let's end the video looking at the option flow data on Corsair on TradeUI to see what the big money investors are doing so far during the day. So here's the Trade UI platform that I use every day to look at my option flow data to see what the big money investors are doing. And only two sweep orders came today. They're right here. The first one came in right at opening bell, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, and it was for a call option at the $50 strike. And that is the same expiration that I have, the February 19th. So someone is betting just a little over $40,000 that Corsair is going to get to $50 or more in a month, which is what I want to see. I really hope that happens because then I will be able to take max profit on all of my puts. Now, another order came in about an hour and a half later. This one was officially a put option order for a $30 strike. So someone basically put in an opposite trade that they think that by February 19th, the Corsair is going to sell off to at least $30 or lower, and they're betting about $26,500 on that. So we kind of have two trades. One is bullish, one is bearish. Let's see what happens throughout the rest of the day. I'll give you an update video in tonight's video when we talk about it at night. But I just wanted to get this video out there because I'm pretty excited about playing a new ticker. I've put a decent amount of capital into this ticker. So let me know if you have shares or options of Corsair. I know people that have traded it and it's always tri treated them well. They've made money off it, so I want to be a part of that action. As always, make sure you join our Discord server if you're not in there already. Add me on Twitter, add me on Reddit, add me on StockTwits, add me on Instagram. But most importantly, I hope you're currently having a green trading day. Let me know if you've opened any positions today. And as always, happy trading.